This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. The main event, a TLC match for the world title. Remember if John Cena loses, then he's got to go ahead and move to SmackDown for three years. That's not the case. Cena beats edge in 25 minutes and 28 seconds to win the match. And Meltzer would say it was their best bout to date. And there's one big scary bump quote. Cena took one bump as the ladder was pushed over where he flew over the top rope and went through a table. Unlike the usual back bump you're taught to try and take, he landed on his hip or tailbone, but got right back up and finished the match. He went nearly a half hour, but there was only one spot where he groaned or where you groaned, even though those who wish he wasn't in the position he's in, they should honestly have to give him grudging respect. He's very much like Steve Austin and that he's so over, he doesn't have to work hard every night. And unlike Austin, he didn't grow up admiring and emulating the great workers or even have Austin's level of ability, but just the same, his effort going above and beyond has to be praised. I think that's pretty cool that he's going out of his way to say, and this is really the era where even John's that's the most backhanded fucking. Well, there's praise. a lot of guys who don't like John Cena. They don't like his gimmick or his presentation or his character. And a lot of people would say, oh, we only know five matches. But in this era, people started to refer to him as like Big Match John, where, hey, maybe you don't love his house show matches. Maybe you don't love his television performances. But when he's main eventing a pay-per-view, that motherfucker is going to have a good match. Hey, John, every time John would go out, John would have a good match. John would do everything that he could to have a different match every night and experiment, not do the same thing every night. Um, that's who Cena was. That's who Cena is. And... You know, I, I would I would kill to have had, you know, five guys on the roster that were like John Cena. As far as, um, I'm not saying your fandom, I know that's Terry and Dorian, blah, blah, blah. But I'm just saying actually working in the professional wrestling business and all the places you've worked. Is John Cena on your Mount Rushmore of talent of just guys you enjoyed working with? Absolutely. I think that's interesting. You Absolutely. Know. I've just heard you say a lot of glowing things about him. And I got that vibe. Love the guy to death. Who else would, would be in that same vein where you're like, Hey, this is the Mount Rushmore. It's Cena and undertaker. Okay. Um, I put Austin and rock on there. Wow. So let's talk about the finish. It's a big finish. Uh, Cena gets edge put up Sean on there. Oh, wait, sorry. There's four. Uh, uh, you know what? My Mount Rushmore. I, I didn't stop. It oh, just four. Yours top five. Yeah. Top five. So Cena gets edge up on the ladder in a fireman's carry drops edge off his shoulders with an FU through two tables. Then he grabs the belt for the win. He goes over to his dad in the front row and hugs him, which, you know, given what we had seen at the, the pre-tape thing at John Cena senior's house, <laughs> it's a nice little payoff four and a quarter stars, man, great show top to bottom an un an, a rather, um, you know, when people look back and they talk about their favorite wrestling pay-per-views, they often quote like, Hey man, remember at SummerSlam so-and-so, remember at Rumble so-and-so, or remember at WrestleMania such-and-such. -such. Unforgiven, not normally a show thrown around, but this is a damn good show. It was a great show, top to bottom. But even last week when I teased, or actually a few days ago, when I teased we were going to cover it, you're like, eh, mind games. But is that just because no, you... that was actually at the top of this show. Oh well, yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.